The following example shows how to graph a quadratic equation. When we graph a quadratic equation, um, we always start with the vertex. Um, a quadratic equation always results in what's called a parabola, and at the bottom or top or side of a parabola is a vertex. To find that, we start by saying uh, that x equals a negative b over 2a. This is our formula for finding the x-coordinate of the vertex. a and b come from your normal places. a is in front of the x squared, b is in front of the x. So we place 4 in for b and 1 in for a, and we end up with a negative 4 over 2 times 1, which equals a negative 2. So the x-coordinate of our vertex is negative 2. And we used x equals negative b over 2a to find that. You need to know that. Then we put that into a t-chart. The goal here is to make a t-chart with five points. And we put negative 2 in the middle. That's our vertex. And then we're going to count up 2 and down 2. So negative 2, negative 1, 0. And then go count down, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And the reason we do this is because it creates symmetry. Okay, so now that we've, we've, we've got our t-chart set up, we're going to plug in negative 2 for x, and we're going to find out what that equals for y. So negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 2 is a negative 8, plus 3. And so when you work that out, you're going to get uh, negative 4 plus 3, which equals negative 1. So your vertex is negative 2, negative 1. Now we're going to go up and find... Um, what is the y value when we do x equals um, negative 1? So we put negative 1 in for x, and we do the same thing we just did. We go out and find out what our y value is. So negative 1 squared is 1. 4 times negative 1 is a negative 4 plus 3. So you're going to end up 1 plus negative 4 plus 3. Well, when you add those up, you get 0. And by symmetry, and we'll, we'll see this in just a second on the video, but by symmetry, if negative 1 uh, results in a zero, the negative three also has to result in zero. So you're going to be able to put zero in for ne the uh, negative three as well. Okay, and the easiest one to do, you love whatever x equals zero because it's so easy. Uh, zero squared is zero, four times zero is zero, plus three, so all you have left over is three. So when we put zero in for x, our, our y value, or our y intercept is three. Okay, so by symmetry, if negative one was zero, like I said, then negative three results in a zero. And then if uh, 0 results in a 3, the negative 4 has to result in a 3 because we have this symmetry in, a, uh, in our quadratic, the graph of our quadrat quadratic equation. Um, so the first point to graph is the vertex, which is negative 2, negative 1. Then we're going to go graph negative uh, 1, 0, um, and uh, negative, or 0, 3. Then we go graph the other side, which is negative 3, 0, and negative 4, 3. And once we graph those two points, you can really start seeing the symmetry, right? If you think about a line going vertically through the vertex, which actually is called a, the line of symmetry, the axis of symmetry, which we're not going to talk about yet. Um, if you think about that line, you can see how it's the same on both sides. Um, and so using that symmetry and the x equals negative b over 2a makes graphing a parabola um, very easy. And it's usually a good idea to go ahead and identify what your vertex is, negative 2, negative 1.